Right now on Voices, we are taking a deeper dive into the primary battle brewing in New York's 147th Assembly District. The two men vying for the nomination and the former president turned convicted felon that could hold the key. Good evening, everyone. I'm Taylor Epps. Michael is off tonight. Here to help break all this down is 7 News political analyst Bob McCarthy. Bob, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Taylor. So the 147th Assembly District includes the southern portion of Erie County, all of Wyoming County, two Republicans vying for the nomination. David DiPietro, and then you have Mitch Martin on the other side. Bob, DiPietro usually a shoe-in for this. Why should we really be talking about the challenger here? Well, Mitch Martin is well known. He's got his own base in the Republican Party, and there's a lot of money being spent in this thing right now. That tells you that it's serious. There's ads on TV. There's signs all over that district. There's something going on here. Yeah, and you know, usually when you talk about someone who has a nomination from Donald Trump, it's a golden ticket for them. Does that change now when we talk about this? Chris Jacobs in 2020, for example. Well, we have the yeah, we'll have to see. First of all, I think from what I'm hearing out of the Trump campaign, it's going to happen in the next couple of weeks that Donald Trump will actually talk about an assembly race. Here's the man who's running for president of the United States getting involved in an assembly race. But he and David DiPietro have a long history together. They're both loyal to each other for that. It goes back to DiPietro supporting Trump for his, uh, his thought about running for governor back in 2014. But does it change anything right now? Um, this polls show that probably not, nothing has really changed since the uh, former president was convicted on all those charges last week. Yeah, former President Trump's endorsement was once, of course, obviously a golden ticket. And now we're talking about the latest morning consult poll showing no significant change in voters' views since the Trump conviction. He has 44 percent, Biden 43, really a statistical tie. Still, Biden has been steadily increasing in favorability numbers since the trial began. Do we think it'll really change things for the voter here. What do you think we'll see coming up? Because it doesn't feel like it, but we are in a presidential election year. So far, the polls are not showing that, but we haven't seen President Biden really, really grasping that and really emphasizing that in his attacks on Trump yet. So we have a long ways to go. But you know, the thing about it is, Trump gets himself in all kinds of trouble all the time with all kinds of crazy things, and he's been able to come out with it unscathed on all of those things for a long time now. Bob McCarthy, our political analyst, thank you so much for joining Just us tonight on Voices. Yep.